yeah, I've been working out for six years. Never once did it give me confidence. Like I was still just as insecure as when I started. I only started getting confidence recently when I started dealing with my insecurities. Of those ideas of me being fat, those ideas of me being skinny, because I was both at one point. The insecurity of me being dumb, like I, I've had a lot, like dude, I, a lot of stuff I deal with, and I've only started recently really getting true confidence is by sitting with it. Dude, true confidence is fucking crazy, bro. It's actually crazy. That's the other thing I want to talk about too was ego, it's something I struggle with, but I have a really big ego, and it's bad. It's bad. It's something I've been trying to work on. I really realized how much I compare myself to other people, and it's toxic as fuck. And what I realized when, after this is that like. You can't just compare yourself to other people to build you up without comparing yourself to other people to tear you down. It's impossible. If you built up uh, confidence by comparing yourself to other people, you can't just ignore people that are better, better than you because that's your whole, that's what the tower is made of is comparisons. You see what I'm saying? So like you can't be in face it plugs and be like, oh, these guys are shit. I'm so much better than them. I'm so much better than them. And then you get in another game and someone's better than you. It's impossible to ignore it. This is like the, the deep shit of why I tilt. It's because I'd be in a game and I'll write off the people I'm playing against. I'll, I won't give them respect. I'll write, I'll write them off. I'll be like, these guys are shit. They don't work as hard as me. And see comparisons. And then when they beat me, you know, if I call them dumb, stupid in my head to make myself feel better, when they beat me, now I just lost to someone who's dumb and stupid. And that makes me feel even more stupid. Like that shit just comes back to bite you, bro. And it make, it ruins you. Like that's why people say ego is flimsy. It's because when you have, when you get your sense of self and assuredness, from something that's outside of you, you have no control of it. It's RNG. If you get that from comparisons, someone comes around and compares better than you, boom, all that shit's gone. And that's what happened to me. It happens to me. It's something I still struggle with. It's, it's comparison with my, 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 comparing myself with other people where it's like, I'll be in a game or something. Like, I'm just, I'm going to use Counter-Strike as an example. I'll be in a game and I'll be like, oh, these guys don't work hard. Don't, they, these guys don't work as hard as me. They don't watch as many demos as me. You know, I'm, I'm better than them. And then we lose them and I get fucking tilted. So I'm like, I deserve to win that. And it's not true at all. And having these uh, comparisons like it takes you out of the moment and uh like not having respect for your opponent it makes you play worse like because then you're gonna accidentally like they're gonna make good moves against you and you just wrote them off and you're not gonna try your actual hardest against them what i learned about shame versus mistakes from like going to therapy and stuff is that uh if you're you're, you're struggling with shame of something let's say you did something you know bad whatever it is instead of like being like oh i'm a bad person you should say oh i did a bad thing it's that's the difference between shame and guilt is writing off the whole person or versus like addressing a one action of the person. But that's the same, you should do the same thing for other people. So let's say you're in a game and someone does something stupid. Don't be like, this guy's a fucking idiot. You say this guy did something stupid because one's an action and one's writing off the whole other person's personality. And if you do this, you know, you say this guy's a fucking idiot and he goes and beats you, then you you just lost to a fucking idiot. And now you you feel like even worse of an idiot. You see what I'm saying? If you accept that people can do dumb things and do smart things later, and not trash their whole identity because you think you're better than them, then it's not gonna come around to bite you and make you tilt when you end up losing to them. Because just like how, if you make a mistake, you should be like, oh, I made a mistake versus I am a mistake. You should do the same thing for other people, give other people the same respect of like, oh, that guy did something stupid, not, oh, that guy is stupid. Yeah, I, I, I guess I could talk about this because this is kind of like related, but like, dude, like the the other day, my my friend invited me to like come play with him and like come pug. And I was in a discord with OC bro from Team Liquid. And I was like, Holy shit, like it's fucking OC. This guy is so much better than me. And like the comparisons, that shit made me nervous because I wasn't like the best anymore. Like I wasn't the best in that discord. So like now that whole sense of self is just shattered. That's why ego is so bad for you, bro. It's some shit I realized. To solve this, to solve this, okay? Cause I didn't mention this. To solve the ego versus confidence. If you want to like build yourself up, anything that you identify with, make sure the identifier has nothing to do with other people. It should all be with yourself. So instead of saying, I'm the best or I work the hardest, you replace that with saying I'm a hard worker or I'm a good player. It's something that just has to do with yourself in isolation of itself because saying that you're a hard worker, if someone comes around who's also a hard worker, even a harder worker than you, doesn't affect your identity. If you say I'm the best worker and someone comes someone comes around who's a better worker than you, now your identity is affected. Now your, your ego is at stake and now you get tilted and you get insecure. But if you say I'm a hard worker and someone comes around who's a better worker than you, it doesn't affect you at all because you're still a hard worker. So you have to you have to identify yourself with things that only have to do with yourself and don't have any comparisons involved within it. Saying I'm the best, the tallest, you know, strongest, handsomest, like anything with is, anything that has underlying comparisons within it, it fucks you up, dude. Don't identify with anything that way. It, it's literally just ego. Okay, so I, I guess I could talk about this too. So like where that ego came from. So e your ego is like a, a defense mechanism, right? Uh, when people say like you're compensating, like that's like legit a thing. And I realized like, 
a lot of where like my deep insecurities comes from is like from my childhood. One big one is just like being the weakest, smallest kid in my family. Another big insecurity is like feeling like an idiot because I have ADHD and like I would forget to do things. I would I wouldn't forget, I just wouldn't notice, but I would just write, I, I think I'm like so forgetful and dumb. And I like kind of internalize all these things and pretty much like where ego comes from is like you were yourself at one point and then yourself wasn't enough or you got made fun of. So now like you're down here and in order to get back up, you have to compensate with something versus just realizing that you were never down here to begin with. Like you're still up here. It's just that your beliefs made you think you're down here. So you end up compensating with like ego or flashy things, jewelry, all that shit, bro. And it's like, that's what, that's why people say you're compensating. You know, and that's why I realized like a lot of my insecurity can't, comes from is like my childhood and just feeling like an, an idiot. And I just literally thought I was like actually like disabled. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, like one of, that's like one of my biggest insecurities. I, I, I thought I was like disabled. Like I was like a dumbass. I don't know. <laughs> and that, that's I could talk about why, but it, it's because it's I had like OCD and stuff and I would always like get made fun of or like freaking out over small shit. I'd start crying if someone's like in a rocking chair, some weird shit, I don't know, something's wrong with my brain, you know? And I just like, I didn't know what was wrong with me and I'm getting in trouble for this stuff cause I'm like freaking out over, over small things, getting all this anger and stuff. I had a lot of like pent up anger. Yeah, I get in trouble for this stuff. I'm like, wow, something's wrong with me. I'm an idiot, I'm a dumbass. I'm messed up, I'm disabled. Like I literally thought I was disabled, bro. That shit still lingers. Like that's something I'm still trying to deal with. You know, I had these like deep insecurities that come from like my childhood. Addressing those is where I actually get the confidence from actually getting rid of the ego because that shit will come, come back to bite you. That's what I'm saying, bro. Mastering the mind, that's how you master the game because there's so many things that you don't realize in your mind that's fucking you up when you're playing. You know, ego, that's why you're tilting, you know? Some shit for me. Does that make sense? That's why you get nervous around better players, you know? Like shit like that.